So deflection is now an S tier set. Let's craft it. Let's gear them. Let's talk about it. Let's get it. Oh, what's up guys, MTG Jedi here. I was just really thinking and diving in on deflection, and I want to share that whole process with you guys. But first, we need to talk about this update that we're going to get real quick here, uh, and then we'll get into the rest of the deflection. So let me get that on screen so we can break it down. So what we want to highlight here is that the deflection set and the passive of Yumiko's A2 will be able to return the sheep debuff back to the, the person with the sheep. And that is an, a crazy, incredible turn of events. I absolutely love this. I said in a couple different videos this year, I would love to see deflection buffed because I think that set is good and now this is the thing that's going to make us go forge some of this gear and start using it on our champions so let me tell you how i think would be best for us to forge this gear then we're gonna do that and we're gonna try to gear somebody in this set so that you are prepared for this meta shifting update in arena meta shifting it's gonna be absolutely crazy all right, so let's collect this. And we want to be using rank and rarity charms because you're not going to have that much to craft here. Like I have 400 core hammers. That's probably a lot. Um, and then accuracy charms is what you want to use. Let me see if I can go get a couple more charms if I have that available. I do not, so I'm going to do some crafting now and some later so that we can look at the video, but basically one of the reasons to get to Gold Arena in 3v3 is to buy these rank and rarity charms, also buying your accessories to hit refresh, heck yes, and even 5 star refresh accessories are going to be a good, um, a good way to help your champions, right? But over here in Deflection, we're going to want to use as many rank and rarity charms as possible on this, in my opinion, and then the accuracy charms. Now, I think that what I want in here is going to be probably boots, but uh, I don't know. Let's go with helmets, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Probably top row would be best, and then maybe using perception to go with this set. So let's go ahead and do another 10 pull, and then I'm gonna wait for some rank and rarity charms here, and we'll take a look at this, okay? Pretty unfortunate, but let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got, okay? I like looking at my new gear over here, and we can go equipped, and then scroll down to deflection, which, if I could find it, is right here okay so these are the deflection pieces i have um some of those are on champions i i think i have a seek uh, oh i have an accuracy chest on a seeker i was doing some interesting work with a, a, a second seeker there so um actually before we do that we probably want to go to the champion that we're trying to gear i am going to try a lot of different debuffers in this set but for now, I'm going to put together a Madam Ceres because she has this really old build in immunity gear and I'm just like over it. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this chest piece because that's everything I need in my life. Um, that looks wonderful. And then we'll search for substats accuracy in deflection okay so all we're looking for here is basically what's the most accuracy that we can get and you can even come in here like double rolls on this would be fine um or five star gear if you need to um looks like i have a lot of good speed gear here so uh it will just depend on how some of these roll right like i don't really want to use this shield but if that's the one we have to use I don't really want to use this weapon, but again, if that's all I have, um, then I could do that, right? As far as gloves go, we have a little bit of accuracy there. 
We have crit rate and accuracy. Um, basically, you're just looking for... <laughs> okay, crit rate, crit damage. That's pretty sick. Um, but not helpful for what we're doing here today. So those are the ones we have right now. Crit damage with accuracy. I mean, it, even crit damage gloves, it does not really matter, okay? And I will go ahead and rework those. See if we can hit accuracy. Oh, we hit crit damage. And then flat HP. Okay, well, that's, that's not going to fly. We'll end up selling those at some point. Um, even level uh, rare gear with a double roll on accuracy. Okay, no streamer luck for me today. I guess we could go attack percentage gloves. If that's what we got to do, that's what we got to do. Okay, and we just want the most amount of accuracy as possible. All right. Now, we could come in here with boots as long as they have speed and accuracy. All right. And, of course, we don't hit accuracy. Jeez. Um, what is this one? Defense, flat attack. Okay, so obviously we can sell the flat attack. I'm sure that there's going to be some other ones that we want to sell. Um, that Actually, that helmet is accuracy and speed. I doubt that we're going to use it, but we'll go ahead and keep it for now. Uh, I don't know what I want to do with that, so we'll just leave it like that. Now, a, a good set to pair with this is going to be your perception gear, obviously. Now, what I will do is I would probably look for one of these three because those are the weak ones that I need. And when you're looking for your best gear, because like in deflection, you're not gonna have that much, but when you're looking for your best gear, don't forget that you can priority stats and then it will sort it for you, right? I have this. Look, this is a max glyph. It's just chilling there, right? So I would say that that's got to be the best I can do. It's got to be. But we do have some gloves here that are not really being used. We have those max glyph ones. We have 31 there. The weapon was not very good, so I'm going to just stick with this for now and then try to get some other pieces. Another way that you can try to find this is with your ascension bonus and testing those to see if you hit accuracy with accuracy. That is the actual best. But um, for like end game content, like 600 is almost a minimum in my opinion. And then we'll add some glyphs. We'll try to find some other pieces. And my goal would be to get some more speed in there as well. But that's a pretty reasonable first build for you to go off of. Something that is reasonably achievable. So I'll go ahead and equip, hit equip here. Now these changes are not live just yet. And so you do not want to go rush to do this. Just make sure that you're doing it in due time. And then for masteries, you probably want Eagle Eye over here as well. I don't know if Sniper is going to increase these chances, but I already have Sniper on there um, for uh, some other things. Now, those masteries are a little bit outdated, but I think that I still like them for the most part. So, what blessing do you like on some champion like this? Obviously, I have commanding presence. Let me know what blessing you like. Uh, how are you feeling about these changes? What about the rest of the patch notes? Do you want more information about that? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And while you're out the door, make sure you hit that like button to support the channel here. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.